absolute misery out here. <laughs> that is bad news. Oh. The coupler just popped off the trailer. Valve stem casualty. <laughs> Breaking. Oh boy. That's a big trout. It's definitely been the coldest stretch of this cupcake little winter we've had up here. Um, but it's time to pay the piper. It's been legit minus 30 daytime highs without the wind, ch wind chill. Uh, today it's like minus 45 with the wind or whatever. Some people don't count the wind for whatever reason. Uh, it obviously makes a big difference. So um, I wanna go fishing. My shack's been a bit of a dead sailor the last few days or the last few outings. So I wanna go move it to a brand new spot, somewhere I've never fished before. Uh, I have about an hour and a half to pick it up, hook it up, drive to where I'm going, pick a spot, set it up, and somehow put some fish on the ice. So we'll see if we can't make it happen here. Now we hit our first roadblock. My road kind of got yard sailed, so I have to make a bit of a new one here. Buried already. Oh, that's nice. That is frickin' buried. I'm gonna be shoveling for a while. This is brutal. It's a lot easier if you uh, shovel out the bank before you try to go through it and bury yourself. So don't think just because you have a V-plow in your truck that you can go big swinging through a bank. I usually try and avoid going out when it's minus 40. Um, it's, it's just not worth it a lot of times. I used to make, uh, you know, living in part um, guiding out here in the winter. Well, I can't even call it that. I used to charge 250 bucks a day and would just break all my gear every outing. So uh, not a great business model, but I learned real quick and real young that when it's this cold out, you just bust stuff. Don't run plastic shovels and don't sit on any lawn chairs. If I just hit her with enough momentum and keep the blade high, I'm hoping I can keep, just keep everything free. So. I can't believe we're going back through here. Oh, yep. Okay, oh God, it's nice to be not stuck and in the truck and out of this weather for now. Like it's getting ugly, ugly out here. I don't want to sound like some punk YouTuber saying it's dangerous. Um, I spent enough time out here to know that these are, these days a lot of bad things can happen, but hopefully I have enough know-how by now to, to get through it. Um, you know, not too worried about her. Here's a hot hack. I always carry this Humminbird Ice 35. I never leave the house without it. It's just the most reliable flasher they've ever made. This particular one's probably 10 years old. I use a bit of a fleet of them for guiding. Uh, but all the Helix units have the same power adapter as the as this thing, so it's always handy to have around in case you need another flasher or you know, in case your fancy dancy LCD goes down, it's always good to have one of these. But I use mine just to, I have my snow machine graph. I just carry it around when I'm in the truck. I'm gonna fire up the Lake Master and find us somewhere to fish. Oh, it's nasty out there. 
I will say though, I haven't gotten cold yet because I've just been working. Winter sucks. Good thing we went with a gallon. Old girl's just hopping back there trying to get out of this hell hole. Oh boy. Oh, she's plowing. We made her. Just one last step. Got to get the shack over the bank and, and in there. Um, it's kind of getting to the point in the season where just freewheeling in your truck is, is getting a little bit risque. But that's why I like these tiny little wheelhouses. You can kind of get away with a lot more than, than normal. So we'll hit, hit her hard and hope for the best. Here we go. Oh boy. She's getting the shakies. If you've ever done this, you know what the shakies are. Oh boy. Go girly. Come on, this is when you want a nice old truck. You don't want any of that fancy posy this, posy that. Oh, and all four wheels ripping. That's a big drift. Please, 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 please. Buried her. Buried again. This time she bad. The whole frame. This is the back. It's like that all the way to the front. It's just like rock hard snow. I'm gonna be here for a bit. That is bad news. Ugh. That's another reason it's important to have a good aluminum shovel. You're not busting this off with a snow shovel that's sitting on your deck. I'm gonna try it. This reverse is the only way to go. I can't take the shack off yet. Cause uh, I can't, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna be able to go forward. So I can only back up, Just shovel out all the wheels here. I'm getting bagged now. I can see right through like there's nothing else that... Oh baby, oh baby. Go, jackknife it at the back. Okay, now what? Whoa, whoa, coupler came off. Oh boy. starting to look like the shack only wants to be here. The coupler just popped off the trailer. I've been having issues with it. I finally got it down, but obviously it wasn't very good. So uh, I'm going to check the depth right here. I am getting sick of this. We're doing it. I'm fishing right here. We found our new home, Normie. This is where we live now. We will ice camp here. Till the end of time. I do still have some time. Seemed like a lot longer than, than it was. Maybe got 20 minutes till the sun hits the trees and you know that's obviously when you want to be fishing. Valve stem casualty. <laughs> Breaking. It's cold and you can see this thing. Just from being exposed to outside for a second, it's just totaled. These things are kind of picky too, so definitely want them warm. Just doing a little weenie roast here. Everything is just so much harder when it's like this. So far this has been a pretty terrible experience. You might be watching this saying, you're an idiot. I don't really have a response to that. Everything's frozen. Nothing's working. Well, some things are working. I mean, it could be worse. There's still daylight and I get to fish and I'm gonna be warm soon. And battery's working. Everything's good. Except I can't get into my minnow bucket. Send the old clock and cannonball down. 
I always like to get that down there first and then just get my, I'm gonna get my jig and spoon set up and get uh, everything set up a little bit better, but at least for now I'm fishing. Oh, oh. did I just land on one? I'm just gonna, these things work good as a dead stick too, so I'll just leave that down there and it eats it, it eats it. Other rod's gonna be a jig and spoon. Pretty much a standard, just a rattle, and this one's a Lindy little flyer, a rattle and flyer, whatever you call it. There's a bunch of different variations, Northland has a good one too. We didn't quite make her to where I wanted to be, and maybe it'll end up being a blessing. I mean, something's got to go right for me tonight. I can't complain, this is all my own doing. I'm the one that went out fishing in minus 40 and off-roading a wheelhouse like an idiot just to catch some fish. Come on, it's okay. Oh boy. There you go. There you are. Get comfy. We're straddling in for the night bite. Oh boy. That's a big trout. Come on. Oh, come on. Like that. Come on, baby. He's chasing her down. Hooked on the side of the ice. Come on. Did he get it? Yeah, he got it. Oh, yeah. We are hooked up, finally. I really wish I had my other rod out of there right now. I think we got a lake trout on. Might be being rewarded for uh, all the efforts today. Being a dummy. He's making a run. I think my... Drag's broken on my reel. Lots of times a little clicker will stick there. Yeah, here we go. It's gotta be a trout. I haven't seen a bubble yet. Big suspended fish though and everything's, oh yeah. Go for a ride there, baby. It's important not to rush these things, especially on walleye gear. Um, there's a reason I'm using a, a jigging spoon right now in addition to my clack shot. Um, it's, uh, it's on a little bit of a heavier rod, and kind of just in case a trout comes in, really, and it'll catch walleyes too. But I want to be able to reel it up fast and, and get it in front of it and play with it. Hooked on the ice a little bit there. There we go. Might be a decent fish, actually. Have a little seed here, Normie. What's going on? Um, yeah, there's bubbles. It's a trout. So anyway, I use I use heavier gear, and I put a real good Gamagatsu hook in here. Come on, this is actually my first shack trout this year. My buddy Hank, he's caught one, but. Wow, play. <laughs> Ooh. That's a real one. This is where you lose them, is right at the top of the hole here. It's just real important to watch what's going on. Um, if you start trying to muscle them, you'll just dump them. I mean, they're escape artists anyway, so. Just need to see there. Oh, nice. Okay, that's the way to start our norm. <laughs> Look at that. It's right in the side of the mouth, that stout little gammy hook. There we go. Woo, Burley, hang on. Hang on to her. That's a beauty, little, little trout. Nothing huge, but uh, real good start for the evening. And you know, if nothing else tonight, it's a bit of a reward for all that digging. I'm just gonna slide them right back. A little lick there, buddy. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Done deal. I promise that was the first time I pulled my phone out t tonight. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not sitting here texting the whole time. I was actually making dinner. My uh, my wife's not crazy about cooking, so I uh, I said I'd make dinner, and I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone here. I'm I got to sneak out ice fishing. Yeah, and I've got a couple chicken breasts and the old sous vide just rocking out. Well, before we get into non-stop uh, fish and mayhem, uh, I'll talk a little bit about the shack that I've been held touring all over the place. Uh, it's, uh, it's a purpose-built ice fishing hut, like a 6x12. Uh, I just bought it, used off a buddy, and it was super plain inside. I wanted to doll it up a little, so I uh, put a bunch of tongue groove pine in it. It's all insulated with SM. Um, you know, I know what you're thinking that, uh, fishing YouTubers 
typically aren't the most handy guys and probably shouldn't okay. be anywhere near a power tool. Dale, no power tools! I'm not like most fishing YouTubers if you haven't figured that out by now. You like guacamole? <laughs> ah! Uh, so anyway, yeah, it's... Got a nice little, uh, countertop. That's chainsaw milled, uh, swamp killed black ash. She's a prized piece. It's the pride of the shack. And pretty much all that table does is hold this GoPro. What else can I tell you? It's got uh, little LED pot lights. I just Amazoned them. Uh, they were cheap and they're 12 volt. So that was one of the big draws to them. Uh, for the little power station, I just have a uh, little, it's like an Amazon special marine unit. Uh, you know, it's got your USBs and your power, light switch. The best battery I've found for applications like this uh, is a CanBat cold weather lithium battery. Uh, lithium batteries have a pretty bad wrap in the winter. They really don't do well with charging below zero. It's, uh, it damages the batteries and it just doesn't work out. Uh, not really a scientist, so I can't tell you. The exact details on that, all I know is it's not good. Um, so these ones have a heating system in them and it lets you charge them in temperatures as low as minus 35. So I like it because I just have to bring my generator out with me once every couple weeks really and let her rip. Those lithiums charge so fast. Um, or if I did want to bring it out, it's just super light. So grab it and charge it at home, but they're, uh, they're a great way to go. But anyway, what I'd recommend doing just to ease the shock of the investment is to use them year round, get the winter model. It's a couple hundred bucks more, um, but you can use it in your ice shack all, all winter and have great performance and then throw it in your boat um, for the summer. If you have a 12 volt or add a couple more if you have a bigger system. So uh, if you wanna buy them, can save you a few bucks on them, use uh, promo code BRUCE5 at checkout and you'll get free shipping too across Canada and the US and the prices are already competitive. So um, it's the way to go for sure. Um, they are crazy expensive. I almost fell off my chair the first time I saw them, but when you start to do the math on how, uh, how long regular or AGM batteries last uh, versus performance, you're, I mean, it's a, it's a bigger initial investment as you'll see when you check out the prices, but if you start doing the math on generator runtime, um, you know, getting rid of batteries every couple of years, uh, and you know, figure out your other advantages and that, um, then it's, I mean, they seem like the way to go. There we go. That one answered the call. I'm just gonna leave that minnow there for him. I don't want to clock like crazy and spook him away. He actually kind of like. Maybe looking at that spoon. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's the uh oh. Let me get serious here. That's a good fish. I was just about ready to call her. There we go. Where'd that other one go? <laughs> Poor houndster sleeping here, snoring. I was thinking about that chicken and the sous vide. Here's a beauty. A little eater. Choked on the spoon. We are not picky right now. I was just about to call it. It's late. Oh man, he ate that thing too. Oh yeah. Well, it's a good thing he's got sides because he ain't getting released. I was working that one on the clock shot. And he had a piggybacker just come screaming Willie Beam and then smash it. I see you. Look how far away that fish is coming from. He's kind of making his way into the bottom now. Just with kind of a faint. Here he comes. I just want to see that big red blob run up and smash that bait. It's super rocky down there, so yeah, there he is again showing up. Come on, baby, butter my bread. Yeah, it 
it is amazing how far these fish will come from. Did he get it? No, he likes, likes that high flyer. He came to the clock and went for the spoon. New one two punch. Oh, back to the clock. Which one's he gonna take? I don't care at this point. There we go. Oh, roof slapper. Little tiny one. Hey, what do you see? Not much for sides on him, we'll let him go. Well, that's probably gonna do it for me. Um, happy to salvage up a little bit of the, the evening here. Uh, not happy that I've gotta move this shack again because this spot sucks. Um, probably still make a video out of it uh, if you're watching this. Um, I only have a limited time to fish like everyone, so um, whatever I catch, I catch and uh, probably caught just barely enough to put this to print. So if you haven't already, honk on that subscribe button, maybe throw me a like. Uh, I'm going to go take this tire off and uh, carry on my way. Thanks for watching.